Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us today. Once again, this is the technical presentation webinar for Medical Fair Asia 2022. Just a few housekeeping announcements before we begin. If you do have any questions, um, our speakers will be taking questions today. Do submit them under the Q&A button at the bottom of the screen. With that, I shall hand over to our first speaker for today, Eduardo. Eduardo, over to you, please. Good morning, it's my pleasure. This is Eduardo Marquez from PRIM, Madrid, Spain. So today it will be my honor to start introducing our PRIM company and some of our latest developments and new launching coming to the Asian market that will be for sure shown in next Medical Fair Asia, Singapore very soon. So let me share with you the screen so I can start with my presentation. Okay, hope you can see uh, properly my presentation. Yes, it's good. Okay, thank you so much. So this is uh, PRIM uh, for OTC and uh, Mobility AIDS uh, main purpose, uh, orthotics. This is a uh, PRIM orthopedic uh, world in a business opportunity uh, trendy industry. So let me start explaining very brief about who is Sprint, just to give you some idea of our company that will be uh, present at next uh, Singapore Medical Fair Asia. We are a, a Spanish group, as I was saying, with 150 years of experience in the health industry. This is uh, our main uh, strength uh, in the market, this uh, very uh, long uh, experience with uh, more than 700 uh, employees and annual growing uh, growing uh, figures and income turnover for the company with uh, very positive figures and very important to, to demonstrate uh, how good is our growth because Prim is in the Madrid Stock Exchange since the 1985. So for sure all this information is public and uh, healthy for the financial uh, terms. Let me continue with uh, a summary of uh, how we are compound, okay? So, uh, as I was saying, uh, Prim working in the orthopedic uh, market in the Spanish uh, country and uh, in the international field, present in more than 70 countries. We are based uh, with one headquarter in Madrid, having nine branches to cover the whole uh, Spanish territory. Very important that Prim not only distributing uh, orthotics, but also manufacturing them. We have two own factories in, in Spain. We, uh, we do work in, with our own prim orthopedic clinics all around the Spanish uh, territory with 12 uh, clinics and two orthopedic workshops where we can adapt and adjust any uh, orthopedic uh, item directly to our patients and, and customers so we can feed perfectly all our customer demands and we can uh, separate uh, two main divisions uh, working in the in the print group first of all we have medical technology which is uh, the prim activity focus on the distribution marketing and maintenance of uh, hospital uh, products being a, a reference in the market for neurosurgery, spine, endosurgery, and uh, a complete uh, range of different hospital categories uh, and working very important with the main and major hospitals uh, in the Spanish uh, territory. Talking about a uh, different segment of uh, uh, healthcare and, and mobility, uh, PRIM has a, a, sec a secondary activity focus in the design and own manufacturing here in Spain, 100% manufacturing in Spain of orthotics, physiotherapeutic, physiotherapeutic rehabilitation and sports medicine uh, products uh, mainly, working through the, the pharmacy channel, orthopedic clinics, uh, orthopedic stores, physiotherapy and rehabilitation, plus, uh, last but not least, uh, wellness and spa uh, services. Talking about Prim International and uh, what today uh, we are going to mainly focus for uh, this uh, Medical Fair Asia Singapore uh, exhibition is that uh, from all this, 
in the international market, we will focus in all those products that we directly manufacture in our two uh, factories in Spain. And this is going to be focused in the production and distribution of orthopedics for uh, the hospital, pharmacies, orthopedic stores, uh, and tenders. Okay, this is our own development and manufacturing of orthotics and daily living aids. Okay, so uh, present as, as we were as we were saying in more than seventy countries, uh, adapting business and marketing strategies for the pharma, orthopedic, and tender channels, and uh, working through distributors in exclusivity per country and also with our own company subsidiaries in those uh, core uh, markets where we are also uh, present. Um, how is the market where we are uh, working and that we are offering you a business opportunity? The orthopedic uh, world is actually in a market restructuring and growing uh, process where we see a uh, longer expectancy life, where there is also a demand for a uh, higher uh, quality uh, products uh, for the best uh, patient and, and safety care of our uh, elder uh, people. Not only the demography is helping us uh, in the world population, but also our trends and our more fashionable uh, sport uh, practice that they require the use of uh, orthotics or uh, several or orthopedic uh, items. So. The demography plus uh, new modern trends are uh, supporting us to have a very uh, important and potential uh, market for the print products. And what do we offer to your business? Uh, basically, a prim in the international market will offer you a very close uh, partnership uh, as uh, as a manufacturer, we are constantly and continuously looking for new partners, new international distributors, new subsidiaries, and always open for new business opportunities all around the world in the five continents where we are uh, currently uh, working. But not just selling our products, we, re uh, we really look for uh, finding uh, and diving together uh, to maximize the profit on, on investment with uh, continual uh, technical training and support uh, to market uh, with a uh, high design and top quality products with uh, the right balance on products and quality cost with the best strong marketing uh, materials so at the end to closely work with our partners in the international field to really conquer the market and to uh, achieve the targets we uh, both uh, desire uh, what we can offer you to achieve uh, this uh, conquer into the market all the print products that we do manufacture in, in Spain. Uh, we have several uh, full ranges of different orthotics focusing the sports, uh, daily, uh, daily uh, practice, food care. We cover 360 degrees uh, body treatments for orthotics. So the opportunities that we can offer to our customers for all those uh, potential points of sale, as we mentioned before, like hospital clinics, uh, pharmacies, it's huge. So plenty of opportunities to work together uh, in Singapore and in the Asian countries. Uh, not only about the, the products that we do manufacture, it's very important uh, all what is uh, behind these uh, products, the innovation and development, okay? Also very important for today's uh, presentation to talk about the in-house innovation with our own uh, patented uh, products and technology for the development and manufacturing of our own uh, orthopedic uh, items, plus very important strategic synergies with uh, foreign companies to adapt and to uh, bring to the potential market this uh, kind of new technology, really uh, modernizing uh, the current uh, system. And how do we introduce our print products? Very important also to mention about uh, in this uh, orthopedic world, as, uh, as I was saying, how modern it's uh, becoming, how fashionable, how trending, and how we need to adapt the old orthopedic world to this new uh, era where uh, the marketing is so important. So product-oriented marketing to the pharmacies, to the orthopedic stores, 
not forgetting never about the best quality, but also adapting to uh, its uh, customer need and a new uh, fashion. Going through uh, the pharmacies by adapting corners and, and cells, providing uh, all what our customer uh, will demand by having these uh, print corners in the, in the pharmacies. Working with our own orthopedic stores uh, by PRIM, where we have direct uh, contact and, uh, with our patients. So we uh, can adapt and feed and get a very uh, precious uh, feedback from our customers. We adapt uh, the position into the main international retail uh, chains, so we can adapt everywhere. As we were saying also, hospital and clinics working with the major Spanish hospitals and international hospitals in the Middle East, Asia, Europe, America, Africa. And uh, of course, uh, Prim has a, a big uh, presence in, in the main international public tenders, uh, thanks to uh, this uh, close collaboration with the local uh, partners and distributors that help us to uh, be present in, in those uh, major uh, tenders. The most important uh, thing for us is to provide our partners with the best training and continuous follow-up, as we call the Prim Academy, to make sure that our agents and uh, partners are the, 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 the needed experts that uh, we expect to really uh, conquer the market and to be the print face in those countries where we are uh, present. Time to market. Uh, very easy to start working with us. How we should start? Uh, we will see in the exhibition, we welcome you to come to our, to our booth, uh, print booth in, uh, in Singapore. And um, we will see that we will offer you uh, the best uh, business and marketing uh, support adapted to each customer, adapted to each uh, market. So we can always uh, have a gap of opportunity to work together with, uh, with new partners that will be our pleasure to meet in, in Singapore. Let me uh, just uh, finish by uh, showing you the last uh, technology. Uh, just a second. Let me share again, new slide. I think you can see again my screen, right? Properly? Yes, that's good. Okay. Uh, some of the latest uh, developments and news that we will bring uh, to Medical Ferresia, like a great opportunity to show the Asian market, uh, our latest European uh, and Spanish uh, technology. It's our uh, new Prima Spine uh, Precision Hyperextension Brace, okay? Uh, the purpose of this uh, new item with uh, patented technology by Prim and completely 100% manufactured in Prim uh, Spanish uh, factory uh, will offer you the latest uh, technology uh, with the, the best uh, materials uh, with uh, some main indication that will really uh, support uh, people's quality li life in Asia uh, for fractures and vertebral crossing pain caused by traumatic injuries, dorsal syphosis, osteoporosis, or any post-operative recovery after surgery, uh, we really uh, provide uh, a, a great uh, product for hospitals and, and surgeries in the, in the Asian uh, market for the best uh, recovery. But not only, uh, as we were saying, uh, manufacturing these items, also offering some new uh, patented technology, something new to the market, like our new spherical system for the, bed, for the best adaptation and adjustment of uh, this uh, kind of uh, orthopedic items. Also, uh, removing uh, so many different sizes, so we make uh, easier for distributors and for hospitals or even in doctors, the use of these uh, items having just two uh, available sizes, thanks, thanks to this, uh, new, uh, better uh, adaptation. 
and uh, what we are uh, offering now against some previous uh, old uh, models uh, okay that we uh, used to work with is a new sternum plate with a sphere joint okay which will help us to adapt in all angles and directions a new lumbar plate uh, with more ergonomic for uh, greater uh, support and adaptation to the body of our uh, patient new uh, buckle system also uh, to, to to help uh, the closer for our patients and to avoid a uh, pain very important as we were saying in market uh, marketing oriented products uh, with a uh, gray uh, uh, color more uh, fashionable and now fully removable uh, padding to make more uh, comfortable again the items and also to have the possibility for uh, washing and always to, to make the to achieve the best comfort to uh, our patients. So it will be our pleasure to introduce to you this kind of new technologies uh, during uh, the exhibition of Medical for Asia Singapore uh, next uh, end of August, September. So thank you so much for uh, your attention and uh, see you very soon. Thank you, thank you, Eduardo. So yes, so you can visit them at booth 2P02 um, at Marina Bay Sands during the exhibition from 31st August to 2nd September. So now we move on to our second speaker who has uh, sent her presentation recording in advance as if she's unable to make it live in person today. So allow me to share her presentation now. Good day everybody and thank you for being here today. My name is Julia and I'm sales Sarah manager for ALS. It is an honor for me to welcome you to this webinar on premium technology for top prosthetic solutions that are patients oriented. For the ones who don't know ALS, just let me spend a couple of words to briefly introduce you the company. ALPS is a leading manufacturer of medical devices at a quarry in Florida, with business units in China, Czech Republic, Italy, and Ukraine. We are in this industry since 1989, holding more than 50 patents, and we are focused on product development and innovation. With that being said, let's have a look at the agenda for today. First, I'd like to explain the importance of the liner for the success of the prosthesis. Secondly, I'm going to talk about the importance of the technology of the materials with particular focus on gel technology, silicon technology, and knitting technology. So let's just dive directly into the topic starting from stretches. If we want to define what a liner is, we can say that a prosthetic liner acts as an interface that goes between a person's skin and his or her prosthetic. In short, it's a barrier, one that is applied to the skin before the prosthesis to protect the user's skin while enhancing comfort and maintaining a more consistent fit. It is easily understandable then that the comfort and efficiency of a prosthetic device relies on having the right liner. The liner material and design impact the comfort, fit, skin compatibility and durability of the prosthesis. At Alps, we specialize in producing skin-friendly liners to avoid skin irritation and minimize issues related to the need to wear a prosthetic device. As liners are in direct contact with the skin of the residual limb, they act as a second skin for the empty. Therefore, it is extremely important that the material they're made of is gentle and skin-friendly to avoid irritating the skin and to minimize any issues related to the amputation. 
prosthetic liners need to provide amputees with comfort, control, and stability. There are two fundamental elements characterizing liners. The raw material they're made of and the fabric with which they're coated. Let's first focus on the raw material. Alps prosthetic liners are made either of gel or silicon. Let's explore Alps gel technology. Alps gel is a highly elastic material characterized by its capacity to absorb friction and shear forces. Integrating this material into Alps products has been fundamental in allowing us to produce prosthetic liners that can guarantee the greatest possible comfort, perfect wearability, a wide range of models to choose from, assuring patients access to the best liner to suit their individual needs, maximum gentleness on the skin and the residual limb, the durability the only a high quality product can provide, the security to be able to move around safely. Alps Gel is a thermoplastic elastomer which offers an optimal level of protection against shear forces and other stresses, guaranteeing the perfect combination of control and uniform distribution of pressure within the socket thanks to its characteristic low modulus of elasticity. With that being said, let's now talk about ALTS silicon technology. ALTS has recently introduced an innovative and skin-friendly silicon prosthetic liner for lower limb amputation. This liner provides a solution to some of the clinical problems and disadvantages of silicon in skin contact applications due to the high coefficient of static friction typical of silicon polymers. Alt silicon is lightweight, hypoallergenic, cool and additive free and creates only one fifth of the friction of normal silicon. The technology used to create this particular silicon is of fundamental importance, allowing ALPS to design and produce silicon liners which can guarantee freedom of movement, maximum gentleness on the skin, cooling effect, and ease of cleaning. Let's now move to the section dedicated to ALPS knitting technology. As anticipated before, the choice of fabric used for producing liner is fundamental for guaranteeing maximum comfort and safety. This is why Alps began manufacturing its own fabrics years ago, to be sure to offer a product that best meets the functional needs of prosthetic wearers. The fabric needs to do more than just protecting the material used in making the liners and extend their durability. It might also be able to generate a greater, lesser, or differentiated level of tension depending on the needs of the individual user. Alps manufactures and uses four types of fabric, beige, brown, black, and knitted. These four types of fabric are not differentiated merely by color and manufacturing process. They also each have distinctive feature and function in order to provide each prosthetic user with the specific benefits he or she needs based on individual lifestyle and clinical conditions. In summary, the different features of gel and silicon that we have implemented over time are aimed to work in combination with the different fabrics in order to provide the right solutions for all patients. Our skilled technicians and engineers continuously focus on exploring cutting edge technology and developing solutions that facilitate comfort and security for both above and below knee amputees. That's why they have formulated different types of gel and silicon in-house to meet the requests coming from the market and satisfy each patient's specific needs according to their clinical conditions and lifestyle. Today, 
we pride ourselves on becoming specialists of liners that are amputees around the world truly enjoy life's most precious moments. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now nearing the end of our time together. And before taking my leave, I'd like to share with you our corporate video. Even the highest performing prosthetic device will be inadequate without a perfect interface with the residual limb providing comfort all day long. Whatever your story is, no matter how far you push your limits, your mobility is how we measure our success. How do we do it? 60 patents. Products 100% made in the USA using optimized manufacturing strategies. 100% in-house manufacturing from knitting to molding for 100% guaranteed quality. A global presence with five branches and 120 qualified distributors all around the world. One common mission, making lives better. Alps, liner specialists since 1993. Well, now I'd like to thank you very much for your participation. I do hope that you enjoyed this meeting and gain valuable benefit from it. If you have any questions or would like to know more about Alps Prosthetic Solutions, feel free to contact me anytime at julia.s at alpsitaly.com. Again, thank you so much for attending this webinar and hope to see you soon. Thank you very much. So same thing, you will be able to see Alps at Medical Fair Asia from 31st August to 2nd September at booth 2H16. So now I shall hand over to our last speaker for today, Mataya. Mataya, Mataya please. Hi, good day, everybody. Uh, let me share my screen. Very good. So. As said, good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Also from my side, my name is Mattia Lucchini. I'm head of wearable sensor development at Deathwire Switzerland. And today I would like to talk to you about our soft pulse that are our soft dry electrodes for biomonitoring. Before entering into that, I would like to give you a couple of information about Deathwire. Deathwire is a leading provider for high quality and system critical components um, out of rubber, basically elastomeric components. We do rubber components since more than 100 years, starting here in Switzerland, and we still do that, focusing, as I already mentioned, on system critical applications. Why that? Because we believe that we can contribute actually to a safer, smarter, and more sustainable world. And this we do uh, approaching fields that are actually quite diverse. Um, and we start, for example, for our healthcare, um, business unit in which we provide a lot of stoppers, plungers, or caps for syringes, for example, very relevant for vaccine distribution nowadays. But we also have a very big business unit or big activities in the mobility environment where we do provide um, elastomeric critical components, for example, for braking application or for uh, gas, emi gas emission regulation. And last, thanks to our capabilities in manufacturing and, and actually in, uh, in materials, we can support the 
the drive in the direction of more sustainable production and more sustainable world by optimizing the material selection and the sustainability of the products. That Weiler is actually a global player. We have more than 25 production sites all over the world. Uh, we have more than 8,000 employees and we generate a revenue of more than a billion per year. And this is thanks to, our, to the diversity of our product, as I mentioned before. But today I actually would like to, to talk to you about one of our latest product and one of a bit of a special one. And these are indeed the soft pulse. Soft pulse are that wider solution for biosignal acquisition, moving in the direction of soft dry electrodes. Here in the slide, you see uh, on the left side, our standard brush electrodes designed for airy regions. So when we go to penetrate the airs and on the right side, we see the flat ones that are designed instead to collect the biosignal uh, in non hairy region. For example, if we have to collect the heart signal on the chest. Disregarding actually the, um, the design or the form factor, our electrodes are always uh, made or based on a, on, a, on a verified technology where we have a black rubber body that is a latex free elastomer based with a durometer of roughly 80 sure A and with a very high electrical conductivity. At the interface between the electrode and the skin, we find a silver silver chloride based coating that allow actually to have superior performances without the need of gel. And I stress here the elastomeric component and the, uh, the lack of gel that really push in the direction of a soft dry solution for biosignal application. Um, also very important, all our electrodes are tested according to the medical device standard ISO 10993 and specifically we have um, certification that that testify that we do not have cytotoxicity behavior or nor intracutaneous toxicity and nor skin sensitization. Uh, despite actually the design or the form factor of, a, of our electrode, I think that it's important to make clear why um, soft pulse can help you to reach your goal in biosignal acquisition. And I always do believe that we have three main USPs that are performance, comfort, and customer centricity. What does that mean? If we start with performance, our electrodes are very well um, performing in terms of electro tissue impedance, but as well in EXG recording. So every kind of biosignal that you might think of, our electrode can actually record with a very high stability. This is combined also with a, with a very high comfort that it's both related to the, obviously to the, to the rubber material they are made of, but also to the easy of use and to the possibility of customization. This last customization opportunity, it's in my opinion also related to the customer centricity, meaning that if you have a need, let's discuss together, we can probably satisfy that in short time and always with a look at upscaling that, as we will see later on. Now let's dig a bit deeper into these three domains, starting with the performance. As I said before, at the end of the day, we are talking about electrodes. So the electrical properties are, let's say, one of the first thing we should care of. And electro tissue impedance is normally uh, a quite common way to assess the performance of an electrode. And uh, here basically we have a system in which we have our electrode on the forearm of, uh, of a volunteer and we record the resistance that we encounter flowing a certain current through the skin. And our electrode have at a different frequency, obviously a certain behavior that's quite normal for the electrodes, but we can say that at 10 Hertz that is relevant for EEG for those who know it's what it's called normally the, the alpha band region, we have um, an impedance that is roughly between 25 and 300 kilo ohm, depending obviously on many factor like the skin, um, the skin um, of, the, of the volunteer, but also on boundary conditions like pressure or hardware where the electrodes are connected that. Electrode tissue impedance is very important and normally it's the first thing that we do to assess um, the quality at the end of the day of an electrode, but that's just part of the story. Here we are just measuring the resistance to a, an artificial signal. Very relevant it's also to see how the biosignal, real biosignal are actually collected. And this we did in the in the evaluation and actually in the development of our soft pulse uh, for, and this with our customer do actually regularly, um, for the EEG with, with a simple eye open, eye close uh, experiment, comparing them to gel cup electrodes that are nowadays considered as the gold standard. Already from these graphs, you can see even without any need of expertise that the behavior is actually quite similar, but I think it's more valuable to look at the correlation between the two. 
here you can see on the on the left side, for example, uh, sorry, on the in both graph the bars in in orange, the comparison or the correlation between our dry electrode and the cup gel, and you see that it's always very high. But also very important is to compare with the um, with the violet bars that compares the cup gel electrode with the wet 3M gel electrode, meaning basically standard technology. What we observe is that our electrode perform always as good, if not better, than the 3M gel electrodes. Justi not justify, but actually um, confirming once more that the, the soft dry technology behind the soft pulse is actually um, ideal for this kind of biosignal acquisition. Obviously, we target multi-purpose, uh, multi-application, multi multiple-use um, case, and that's why the stability of our electrode is also of utmost importance. And that's a reason why within our development, we focused a lot on the abrasion stability. We talked before about the coating on rubber material, so you might ask yourself, how stable is that? But what I can say is that it's actually quite stable. It's actually very stable, and uh, this has been done through a pretty extensive development um, effort in which uh, we tested all the solution until the, the serial one with a, with a linear abrader in which the electrodes are pushed against a certain surface and then moved along that for 800 times replicating a kind of motion on skin. And what we see is that the, the electrode or the solution that we bring in the market, it pass the test if no uncoated area are observed while uh, the method is obviously sensitive enough to detect, for example, defects if one alternative coating material or if some issues might happen uh, appears. And this method is used both for quality and development purposes. Obviously, abras abrasion is one topic, but if we think about multiple use, other things to consider is surely the stability upon light exposure. This is something that we really cared about and we investigated specifically by storing our electrodes in, so to say, worst case situation, meaning unpacked, coating facing up, close to a window with direct sun exposure. That's in general not suggested because uh, silver is per se a quite reactive chemical and might uh, encounter chemical reaction with time in normal atmosphere, but we, we actually wanted to test what happened after six months uh, in this kind of extreme, let's call it, conditions. And, uh, and the effect of this aging has been evaluated by electrical impedance, abrasion resistance, and uh, electro tissue impedance. Well, what I can share with you is that actually both on the electrical side, so meaning really just measuring the electrode itself, but also measuring the electro tissue impedance according to the protocol I showed before, it's, it's actually not possible to distinguish the age sample from the fresh one, meaning that this kind of aging does not impact the performance. And the same is true, even if there is no picture here, uh, for the abrasion resistance. So direct light exposure does not impact the electrical performance within, obviously, the considered time frame. Moving to the comfort, um, how can I, I, I was always asking myself, how can I uh, make clear to the audience what comfort means? What's the advantage of our electrode? But the first thing that I believe it it's really meaningful, it's to talk about the flexibility of our technology. Um, as I mentioned before, talking about the performances, EEG was always one of the focus of our, of our soft pulse. Soft pulse have been actually developed for EEG application. But with time, with more experiment, with more customers, we soon realized that if they work for EEG, the same technology can be used for ECG, EMG, and EOG as well meaning that we can detect the heart, the muscle, and the eye movement, as well as brain activity. This flexibility is demonstrated by the many customers that already use our technology. Here I brought up a handful of them uh, that goes from EEG application for lifestyle, um, lifestyle case study, for more uh, lab-oriented headset, and also even stimulation in which actually a signal is not just detected from the body, but it's actually brought into the body via our electrodes. Uh, what's, what's the reason why we have this flexibility? Well, I, we talked already about performance, but I think that uh, performance is one thing. Obviously, we need something performing at the best, but we also have uh, an easy way of accessing this technology. And this is exactly what soft pulse are 
offering you. So we don't have the need of gel. We it's it's very easy to to put in place um, the, the headset thanks to our electrodes, and that means also that we open up to uh, at home application for many of the case study that you might think of, and the equilibration time is as well very short. We discussed already about the multiple use possibility with a very good stability and obviously multiple use goes together with cleaning and this is also something that can be done on our electrode. On this last point I just bring a very short slide here but it's actually I think very important to mention that our electrode can be cleaned very easily with a gauze or some cotton pads just moistened with, with ethanol or isopropanol so quite uh, accessible solvents and in case of need, if we think more about uh, the medical domain, we can even sterilize our electrodes via ETO or gamma sterilization. Moving to the last point, uh, how can we support the customer in their in their effort? We know we can support with a with a best in class performance electrode that it's also very easy to use. But what's more? Well, I think that what we can offer more, it actually comes from our history. I already talked about that feeder. How global are we? How big are we? How diversified are we? And we have a history of 100 years in that. All of this, it's something that is our background and that can be used or applied even for our Soft Pulse new products. This means that we produce our Soft Pulse in, in Switzerland, actually, within the facilities of the automotive segment where the highest requirements for cleanliness are applied. And that is exactly what we are using also for our soft pulse. Um, the manufacturing process here, we see a real picture of our production facilities. Um, it's, um, it's extremely well standardized and we do have culture for processing. What does that mean? That means that as soon as we start engaging for a project, we always have a look at what will look like once that the serial volumes will be reached. We are not engaging with uh, a project in which we cannot grant a serial production of that. That's not part of our uh, power, part of our business. If we do validate um, a design, for example, then we commit to produce it in million parts according to your uh, business case. Um, focusing a bit on the soft pulse case, we can say that the process involves different steps. We have a rubber body, so we mix the rubber ourselves. That's done as well in uh, in Switzerland with a mold. Uh, always here, we wash, we code them, and then we deliver it to you. Um, I already talked uh, a bit about the, um, the possibility of, of customization, and let me spend a couple of words here. We do have um, uh, we do have uh, standard designs. We saw them in the first slide, so brush and flat, but that's just what we propose to the market. If you have any need of changing, for example, the pins length, width, shape, configuration, mention whatever you have in mind, or base, thickness, for example, or even, that's that's a quite frequent case, you have a need of a special connection to your hardware. Let's talk together, let's think about that. The only limit we have, it's actually related to the molding process. Everything that can be molded, it's in our hand and we can offer to you. But it's not just about rubber. Uh, again, once more relying on that wire capabilities and history, we know how to bring multi-component uh, parts together. So it's our, it's our daily business to bring rubber together with metal, together with thermoplastic, and why not to think about this opportunity in case of, uh, uh, in the case of soft balls. We already have customers asking for, for example, metallic parts to have a better fixation or a thermoplastic um, somehow housing to have a better stability. That can be done Let's discuss about that. And that's why I would like to close with this slide. So how can that pillar can support you? We do have three um, core competencies that are solution design, material expertise, and operational excellence. And this is exactly what we want to place at your disposal to discuss on how we can use our core competencies with our soft pulse technology to enable you to be more eff efficient, effective, and successful in biosignal acquisition. With that, I finish my presentation. Uh, we will be uh, in Singapore in uh, in August, so please feel free to visit us. It will be a pleasure to talk directly with you. If in the meantime you have questions, 
don't hesitate to contact myself or my colleague Fabrizio Abascia, Business Development Manager for Asia Pacific, and we will be more than happy to come back to you to discuss deeper your need. Thank you for listening, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you, Mattia. So as he's mentioned, you can see them at 2H, booth 2H45 at Medical Fair Asia. So we do have a question from the audience, um, and that's for you, Mattia. Um, does that Wheeler ha already have customers in Asia using the soft dry electrodes? And can you indicate how many? Um, there are three questions. So maybe let's deal with that first then. Yes, sure. So yes, we do. Um... I can mention, for example, uh, iMed iSync is a Korean company that is that is producing a headset uh, in which our electrodes, customized by the way electrodes, um, are used to detect um, or well to collect EEG signals and then to to apply for for therapy. But we also do have um, other customers, specifically in Japan. I'm I'm actually sure we. Uh, I, I believe that, for example, Cybernex, it's also another customer from China. Again, they are looking into also in-ear in -ear EEG application. Again, we have many. I cannot tell you exactly the number, but, uh, but we have many customers that are already with their product in the market. You can see on their website, for example, or uh, that are in the process of validation. For example, there are some customers in the medical domain where certifications are needed, but so far, known of the certification failed, so we are getting there. Excellent. And then the next question from the same person would be that, can the electrodes detect the brain activity through the hair? Um, is there no need to shave the hairs? That is correct. And that is actually the reason why we do have these brush design electrodes. The, these legs actually, they go through the air and they reach the direct contact with the skin without the need of shaving the head. That's exactly the purpose. Um, with the time, we do uh, develop different designs. For example, as per today, we have two major designs. One is uh, the, the, the brush medium and one is the brush long. The difference is basically the, the length, obviously, of the, of, the, of the legs, but also the density. Because we learned with the time that different uh, population, different groups of people might have different needs in terms of... Uh, hair thickness and uh, hair amount, actually. So, but this is something we can discuss if you have special special needs, but yes, we can detect EEG signal on the head without shaving the, uh, the hair. Wonderful. And the last question, which is also what I'm really interested to know as well, which is what are your expectations in regards to Medical Fair Asia 2022? Basically here, the expectation is really to, to close the, the geographical gap, if you want. I mean, as you understood, we are based in Switzerland. We have a distributor that helps us in um, uh, in distributing and sponsoring our product in the in the Asian market. But we do want to increase our our footprint in, in Asia, and that's why starting from from the Medical Fair Asia in August in Singapore, we are trying to get closer to our potential customer. The market in Asia is very exciting. There are a lot of opportunities from very big companies to, to, to more agile, innovative startups, but, uh, but we have to be there. We, we, we have to be close to the customer. We have to sit together and to see what are the pain points and to make clear how that wider can support them. I think that here it's also focused to say, we are not a startup. We are a very big, very established global, global company. And that's what we can offer to our to our customer. These are not electrodes that are three D printed, and you can just do a bunch of them uh, with the high fluctuation in quality. We can provide very high quality in high number, and this is what we want to bring. And hopefully, the Medical Fair Asia will allow us to really create this um, customer intimacy that uh, that sometimes is difficult across continents. Absolutely, I think that's what the exhibition is here to do, and we certainly hope to help you achieve that too. So thank you very thank much you. to our speakers and our attendees for joining us today. So if, um, as I've mentioned earlier, the, uh, the sessions today will be recorded and placed for on-demand viewing on our online platform. So if you have not registered for Medical Fair Asia, please do so because you will require a login to access our digital edition platform to view this and the other webinars that are placed for on-demand viewing. And we do have more webinars coming up in the coming weeks, all the way till 17th of August. 
the next one will be next Wednesday. So do join us as well. If you have not registered, you can also do so via our website. So with that, thank you very much once again. We hope to see you in Singapore very soon. Thank you and goodbye.